نشوف الفيديو مع بعض Tom Friedman, in his recent New York Times article, captured in the way that no one else could the spirit behind our effort. He said the big breakthroughs are what happens when what is suddenly possible meets what is desperately necessary. I've talked about what's desperately necessary. Let's talk about what's suddenly possible. What's suddenly possible was demonstrated by three big Stanford classes, each of which had an enrollment of 100,000 people or more. So to understand this, let's look at one of those classes, the machine learning class offered by my colleague and co-founder Andrew Ng. Andrew teaches one of the bigger Stanford classes. It's a machine learning class and it has 400 people enrolled every time it's offered. When Andrew taught the machine learning class to the general public, it had 100,000 people registered. So to put that number in perspective, for Andrew to reach that same size audience by teaching a Stanford class, he would have to do that for 250 years. Of course, he'd get really bored. <laughs> so having seen the impact of this, Andrew and I decided that we needed to really try and scale this up to bring the best quality education to as many people as we could. So we formed Coursera, whose goal is to take the best courses from the best instructors at the best universities and provide it to everyone around the world for free. We currently have 43 courses on the platform from four universities across a range of disciplines. And let me show you a little bit of an overview of what that looks like. Welcome to Calculus. 50 million people are uninsured. Models help us design more effective institutions and policies. We get unbelievable segregation. So Bush imagined that in the future, you'd wear a camera right in the center of your head. Mills wants the student of sociology to develop the quality of mind. Hanging cable takes on the form of a hyperbolic cosine. For each pixel in the image, set the red to zero. The vaccine allowed us to eliminate poliovirus. Does Lufthansa serve breakfast and San Jose? Well, that sounds funny. So this is which coin you pick, and this is the two pockets. So in large-scale machine learning, we'd like to come up with computation. It turns out, maybe not surprisingly, that students like getting the best content from the best universities for free. Since we opened the website in February, we now have 640,000 students from 190 countries. We have 1.5 million enrollments, 6 million quizzes in the 15 classes that have launched so far have been submitted, and 14 million videos have been viewed. But it's not just about the numbers, it's also about the people. Whether it's Akash, who comes from a small town in India and would never have access, in this case, to a Stanford quality course and would never be able to afford it. Or Jenny, who is a single mother of two and wants to hone her skills so that she can go back and complete her master's degree. Or Ryan, who can't go to school because his immune deficient daughter can't be risked to have germs come into the house so he couldn't leave the house. I'm really glad to say, recently we've been in correspondence with Ryan, that this story had a happy ending. Baby Shannon, you can see her on the left, is doing much better now, and Ryan got a job by taking some of our courses. So what made these courses so different? After all, online course content has been available for a while. What made it different is that this was a real course experience. It started on a given day, and then the students would watch videos on a weekly basis and do homework assignments. And these would be real homework assignments for a real grade with a real deadline. You can see the deadlines in the usage graph. These are the spikes showing that procrastination is a global phenomenon. <laughs> At the end of the course, the students got a certificate. They could present that certificate to a prospective employer and get a better job, and we know many students who did. Some students took their certificate and presented this to an educational institution at which they were enrolled for actual college credit. So these students were really getting something meaningful for their investment of time and effort. Let's talk a little bit about some of the components that go into these courses. The f اللي واضح من الفيديو او اللي حبيت تقوله كول بالفيديو او اللي حبيت تبينه كول في الفيديو عن دور الانترنت في التعليم وانتشاره جميع انحاء العالم يعني مثل ما ان ستانفورد هي في دوله اللي بالهند واللي بكل مكان في العالم ممكن انه يستفيدون منه 
تؤكد كولر بأن إذا استطعنا توفير أفضل جودة في التعليم لكل شخص في العالم مجانا سوف يكون التعليم حقا من حقوق الإنسان ليكون كل فرد لديه الدافع ليصل مستقبل أفضل له ولأفراد أسرته ولمجتمعه فإذا تم توفير الفرصة ليعرف أكثر فيصل بالتأكيد إلى الفكرة العظيمة التي ستجعل العالم مكانا أفضل لنا جميعا فالأبداع يجب أن يبقى مشتعلا منيرا للحاضر والمستقبل فبالنسبة للكولر التعليم عن طريق الإنترنت فعال جدا ومهم في جميع دول العالم مو في دولة واحدة وحتى لو الإنسان يعني إنه هو مو مجال شغله ممكن إنه يتعلم منه ويكتسب يكتسب الخبرة منه يعني دراسة تكون ذاتية تكون بشكل فعال فهذا الهدف كان من كورسيرا في النهاية حبيت أحط فيديوين هم حق كولر أو داثني كولر تتكلم فيهم عن التعليم في هذا الفيديو راح تتكلم دافني كولر عن ان ليش احنا نحتاج حق التغيير العام في يعني في بيئه الجامعه سواء او في التعليم كله ككل فهذا الفيديو يوضح الشيء Who the thought experiment Imagine if you were a doctor 150 years ago and you were put to sleep in a hospital and woke up in a hospital today you would have no idea where you were The hospitals of today look completely different than the hospitals أول شيء قالت إن المستشفيات تغيرت مية وخمسين سنة تغيرت يعني قبل مية وخمسين سنة وضعها كان مختلف تماما عن الوضع الحالي. If you went to sleep in a college classroom 150 years ago and you woke up today, maybe the board is white instead of black, but that's pretty much it. مني يضحكون لأن قاعد يقولون ما في في التعليم شيء تغير ما عدا اللوحة من السوداء صارت بيضة. You know, I think it's time for those institutions to take a big step back and say, okay, the students of today have different needs of the students of 150 years ago. You no longer need to teach them basic facts because they're not going to remember it anyway. And should they need it, it's all available on Google at the click of a button. قاعدة تقول إن في أشياء أو شيء إن حاجات التلاميذ تغيرت عن قبل. أو في أشياء من السخف أن إحنا ندرسها لأن ممكن أو من السهولة أن إحنا نرجع لها وناخذها من جوجل بتكون سهلة علينا وبسيطة يعني ما يحتاج أن المعلم يقول لنا إياها ويضيع فيها وقت لا بالعكس إحنا نستفيد منها من نفسنا ونستفيد أكثر من طرح المعلمين Maybe we should be teaching them something else and maybe we should be teaching it differently and a lot of colleges are not even thinking about it in that way they're not thinking about it at all هذا بالنسبة حق الفيديو وفي فيديو ثاني هم حبيت أعرضه I think that online technology is about to make a significant transformation to the way classes are taught on college campuses. Um, I think we're starting to see a move away from lecturing, especially large lecture classrooms, into a model where people um, encourage their students to get the content and it's much more interactive uh, online medium before they come to class. And then when they come to class, they can really have the benefit of being in the same room as their instructor, having a meaningful dialogue, um, doing creative problem solving, all those things that really we can't do in today's college classrooms. I think that it's important for every institution to think about what the value proposition that it provides to its students is in this day and age when quality content is about to become extremely ubiquitous.
so at that point, the value that you provide cannot be about content. And it really, really shouldn't just be about accreditation. Either. It should be about something that's more fundamental. And especially for an institution like Dartmouth that provides um, this type of meaningful engagement with the students already, I think leveraging on that strength and making sure that when students come into class, this is really what they get. I think it's going to make Dartmouth stand out um, relative to many other institutions in terms of what it can provide. <coughs> um, higher education is changing drastically. I don't know that I can make predictions about 20 years from now because that the change is just so rapid that I don't know if I could possibly predict, but I would say that um, even in five or ten years, we're going to go into campuses and we're not going to see nearly as many large lecture halls. What we're going to see is interactive spaces where students come in having already learned a lot of the content, done a lot of the prep work, and then they come into these spaces to be um, to engage with their fellow students and with instructors and with teaching assistants to sort of have a dialogue around the material. And I think that as a consequence of that, we'll have students that are much better prepared for the kind of challenges that we face in the 21st century economy, where a lot of the um, work is moving up the value chain and that we really need to have our critical thinking skills, discussion skills, and so on, that we currently don't drive effective jobs. في النهاية حابة أقول أن منصة التعليم أو موقع كورسيرا موقع ممتاز جدا حق التعليم الذاتي ممكن حتى إحنا كطلبة جامعة الكويت ممكن نستفيد منه مو شرط أنه أنا أكون كلية تربية تخصص مثلا معين أو مثلا تخصص أحياء أن التزم فيه ممكن أن أنا أحب استفيد فيه مثلا شغلة معينة مختلفة يمكن أنا عندي ميول حق البزنس أقدر أستفيد منه من ال من هذا الموقع عن طريق إني أشوف فيديوهاته حل كويزز مالوته ممكن حتى لو أفكر أكمل بشيء ثاني هم الموقع وايد ممتاز ويساعدنا فمو بس الجامعات اللي حاطين لهم إياه ممكن إنه يساعدهم ممكن يساعد أي شخص في أي دولة في العالم إنه يحصل على هالمعلومات مو شرط العمر مو شرط الجنس أو مو شرط أي دولة أو موجود يعني هالشغلات مفيدة حق الجميع و أنا بصراحة أنا وحدة لو أشوفها أحب أشكلها وايد على ال على التصميم الحلو أو ال أو التعليم إنه أهو قاعد يوصل حق كل الناس سواء الناس عندها فلوس ما عندها فلوس يعني مثل ما ندري إن إحنا التعليم برا ماكو شيء ببلاش كل شيء لازم يدفعوا له فلوس فهذا موقع مجاني ومفيد وراح ينشر التعليم بصورة كبيرة وواسعة لجميع أنحاء العالم وشكرا.